This is Ozark's Fox AM. Welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday. And we want to remind you guys, there's a big event going on in Branson at 4.30 this evening at the Mansion Theater in Branson. A.J. McLean, one of the Backstreet Boys, is here to promote uh, his new country album, 10 Songs. You guys can go and be part of this Video shoot. Yeah, he's actually doing his um, new All the Cool Kids. It's like right, the, all the, it's cool like the, kids. the EDM, which is el electronic dance music, by right. the way. So today it's, it's a lot about that, um, that new sound. Yeah, that's new sound. So when you say country, it's not really, it's not a, uh, your old country sound like you're used to hearing. Right, right, no. Uh, no, I get what you're saying. Two different things. Two different things, yes. So what he's doing today with um, what Brandon, what's with his Brandon last name? Brandon Mashburn. Mashburn, yes, mm -hmm. he is so, they were so cool. They were. Now, Brandon's the producer, and they yes. put this all together. They want you guys to come down and be part of this video shoot, 4.30 at the Mansion Theater. Yes. If you can get there, you're going to have so much fun. And, and I love what they called it, too, uh, ATCK. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, ATCK, all, all the cool, cool kids. Because all, cool all the cool kids. kids like dance music. We'll be there. That's right. Yeah, That's 430. Right. Wasn't he so nice? Free show, guys. Yeah. Yes, he was so And awesome. you know what we didn't get to mention yesterday, Kel? What? That he let us hear unreleased Backstreet Boys music. I'll never get over that because that one of those tunes just grabbed us, and we won't ever get to hear it again unless they release it. And I am so sad about that. Hmm. Because we don't know. He said he does not know if it will ever get released. But he played a few songs for us, uh, some uh, his yes, solo stuff, yeah. but then some Backstreet Boys songs that they've recorded that Incredible. sound amazing that have never been hit song. Let me just tell you, hit yeah. songs we heard. So. We both loved it. Kelly yeah. was like going gaga over it afterwards. I'm so sad. <laughs> She's like, I want to hear that. I'm going to call their record label right now and say, listen, release it to me if you can. Did he say it was like RCM, else. right? Yeah. So it's RCM, yes. then yeah. it didn't make the last album. Anyway, yeah. what do they know? It's going to be so mm. fun. Um, okay. Also, Kelly, today yeah. is. World Autism Awareness yes. Day. Mm -hmm. Now, a few weeks ago, yes. I got an email in my inbox from a viewer mm -hmm. who says that her 14-year-old son loves our show. Oh. He watches every morning before he goes to school. Okay. He especially loves our cooking segments. Oh. Now, we're not cooking on the show today, no. but we still wanted to give him a, a big, huge shout-out to Cade Robertson in Houston, Missouri, mm -hmm. on World Autism Awareness Day. His mom, Holly, says that Cade loves to cook. Oh, good. He loves to watch us cook and watch our mistakes, probably. <laughs> uh, and he watches every morning. So, hey, Cade, we love you. Thank you yes. for watching. When we cook on Thursday, it'll be dedicated to you. And happy World Autism Awareness Day. Absolutely. And we love you so much for watching in Houston, Missouri. Thanks for watching. And you will see some donuts made today, I believe. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're having we're donuts, cooking, Kate. But, but you'll see that done today. So. Although he might be in school. In the second hour, maybe. Oh, it's true. But I hope you DVR the show every yes. morning, Kate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for watching. Yes, you yes. should. Uh, Lauren, did you know that it was World Autism Awareness Day? Yes, I assume that's why you guys are wearing blue, too. Yes, Is that a of course. Yeah, Not light a it up blue. Yeah, you will probably notice some monuments and landmarks that are lit up blue if they have any lights on them, because that's a thing for Autism Day. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome. I didn't know that. Um, I have some headlines for you guys. We need to catch up. You know, yesterday, of course, was April Fool's Day. It's kind of a thing now for corporations and big businesses to try and play a joke on people. So, uh, we need to take a look at some of the best ones. Tender on Friday actually released a new feature that they're calling height verification. So the dating app says the new tool will verify your height. Some people do think it's a big April Fool's joke. They actually haven't said one way or another, but most people think it's a joke. So the company tweeted out the announcement Friday saying it's called the height verification badge and will bring the honesty back to dating. So the app will reportedly verify your height through pictures. Oh. And, but that seems, see, that's the thing that I'm like, how accurate can that be? That seems really hard. So that's why I think it may be a joke. I think it's a joke. Um, but yeah, there are 50 million people worldwide that are estimated to be using Tinder. Interesting. Quick question. Yes. Is height really that big of a deal? Like, on, I would rather at least be the person's face. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Than catfishing in the sense of, okay, here's this attractive person, but they're real, that's not them at all. Yeah. Um, we were talking this morning, and apparently Bumble, which I didn't know this, does have a catfish verification to where they will make sure at least the person you're talking to is the person behind the phone. Okay. So I'm not sure how they do that either, but that, I would agree, seems a lot more useful. I know. Elisa <laughs> Rafa always says she's five foot when she's not. That's, it was made for Elisa Rafa because... Quit lying about your height, Lisa. Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's um, hilarious. Well, those uh, I don't know much about those dating apps, obviously. Me neither. But, um, you know, it's nice if it's the real person. And I think sometimes people tend to put the younger pictures on there as well. Oh, 10, 15 yes. years ago sometimes. Mm -hmm. I just but Instagram now with Tinder, filtered them. <laughs> there you go. That works, too. Washed out. Yeah, we just need the real life filter and then we'll all be okay. We're all good. Um, another thing to catch up on yesterday on Facebook, you were telling me about this. Hertz Donut posted a photo oh. mm -hmm. with the mayo and the donut and said, one thing about getting older is forgetting why you have a grudge against someone. They said, no, that's why we got spreadsheets. It's April Fool's <laughs> Day, so let's keep the grudge alive. <laughs> And they were selling these available at both locations, mayo-filled donuts, which seems disgusting. But I was telling Elisa this morning, I'm just happy none of us got one, right? You guys didn't get one, did you? I did not, because I did not partake. But, but I mean, if there was just a thin layer, it wouldn't be so bad. You had your sweet... <gasps> Listen, guys, it would not... It could be one of those things. Look at you. Have you ever tried it? Have you ever tried it? No, but I no. will say I'm not a huge mayo person. <laughs> I'm well, sitting I, with Lauren right now. Let me now. just say, mayo is something people use on their sandwiches and in casserole dishes and that sort of thing. I'm just saying, if there was a small layer, it wouldn't be horrible. <laughs> you just did a small... Look at Elise's face. Here's what I'm going to say. As far as the think comparison, I would I rather... I not expecting this reaction <laughs> okay, at all. I, I would rather have that than the toothpaste Oreo. <laughs> I'm I'd just saying. I not have any of it, but yeah, no. yeah, I mean, at least that is a food ingredient, I exactly. guess. Exactly. Thank you, Lauren. Okay, that's all I was looking for. <laughs> it was speechless. <laughs> hey. I did not expect her to it's, say Let that. me just clarify. It's not that I'm looking forward to, but if a joke were played on me, I would rather have that than the toothpaste Oreo. That's what I'm trying to say. Imagine how much is in there, though. No, that's what I'm saying. If it was just a thin layer and not oh, okay. a big glob. That's I'm what I think it's glob. not a thin gonna... layer. I'm going to come with a donut and just layer mayonnaise and have her taste it. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> Let me layer it in the proportions that I think I can handle. Yes. Okay. Deal. Okay. Elisa, I know you're not going to have a, a donut like we were just talking about. Anyway. No. <laughs> no. No, not with the mayo. I would just, my stomach turned just seeing that picture and looking at it. That's got to be the that worst, the that worst prank I will ever. Not. I will not Everyone's try it. at a loss for words. Uh, well, you know, yeah. we've got to chat about something. I just had to bring up a little controversy here. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. What do you say? Um, I actually got some really nice pictures of crocus flowers from Jeremy Rabe. I stole them off his social media because they were so beautiful. I look at this gorgeous purple with this bright yellow in between. Uh, crocus flowers that Jeremy planted in his yard and some pretty white ones too. Just really, really uh, nice flowers. Some signs that spring is, has sprung or is starting to. Uh, but the good news is, is while it's starting to look like it, it doesn't feel like it yet, that pollen report is low for grasses. Weeds, trees, and mold so far. We've got a beautiful sunrise in Springfield. Temperatures are a little bit cold. We're flirting with freezing at 33 degrees. South winds are at 6 miles per hour. Temperatures are still about 5 degrees warmer than they were yesterday. Uh, yesterday we dipped into the 20s. It's 31 in Bentonville, 34 in West Plains, and 32 in Fort Leonard Wood. Dry roads as we have through the afternoon, so some green light conditions there. Mostly sunny skies through dismissal and temperatures warmer than yesterday, 64 degrees, uh, mostly sunny and warmer. Temperatures in the low to middle 60s today will be at or a little bit above average. Overnight, we drop to 42 degrees, so not as chilly. And then by tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures in the middle and upper 60s, 69 degrees with increasing clouds and southerly winds. So two dry days if you need to mow if your yard's already and not looking too great. Uh, today and tomorrow are some good days. Looking ahead on the mow or no forecast, no on Thursday. We'll have scattered showers and storms, but things do dry out by Friday. Also not concerned about any more frost or freezes this week. Temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s on the overnight lows. Through the rest of the work week, we'll have those highs in the 60s and 70s, so staying above average all around. Uh, temperatures today at 64 with sunshine. Showers arrive overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Temperatures still stay warm on the back side of that front. Another cold front comes through by this weekend. Jeremy Kelly. Thanks for using my flowers, Lisa. Those are very pretty. They're gorgeous. I love so I, beautiful. They and they come in a variety of colors. I was just going to ask, yeah. what colors do they come in? The first ones actually bloom a few weeks ago were yellow, bright oh, really? yellow, 
And then finally, the purple and the white and other colors are popping up. What's really fun to do yeah. is these are very early spring flowers. You could plant them all across your yard. So before you actually have to mow, oh, they will have oh, bloomed. Oh, that'd be nice. So you will see a field of crocus, and then it's time to mow, and they'll be fine for and next year. Gonna, I love that. I have some purple that came up, and they are lovely. I didn't plant them. Somebody else did. Yeah. They, they're beautiful. Thank, oh, beautiful. Thank yes. you, Elisa. Thanks, Elisa. Coming up, it's our morning sports report. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh, yes. Ain't nothing like the real.